And we're back on Home Track Heroes here from Evergreen Speedway. Coming up next is our Interstate Battery Youth Hornet main event. 20 laps kind of gave the figure eight guys a little bit of time to relax. And a couple of them are going to, we'll be seeing some more outlaw figure eight racing coming up. Our final segment, 64 laps in that one. 20 laps for our Interstate Battery Youth Hornets. And fun watching these young ladies and young men out there just getting better every time. They are. And you you watch the progress that they have made they're learning not only how to drive a race car, a lot of it, you remember, you know, standard transmissions, a clutch, that doesn't happen too much anymore. They've got that. Getting to, to know the racing rules, to follow along, how to, you know, set a driver up to pass and everything else. They're learning the basic skills right here. Some of them as young as 12 years of age. Let's bring you the lineup. In the number 31 is Lila Brown. In the 19D, sponsored by Everett Mazda, that's Elijah Delfell. Next row back on the inside, the 59 of Tegan Bjornsson. And outside, Olivia Reppin in the 40. Four, sponsored by Rep and Welding and Rail. In the third row, it's the 717 of Diesel Snyder. He's sponsored by Gearhead Garage. Outside of Snyder is the 72 car of Keegan Krieger. In the next row back, the fourth row, it's the 27 of Dakota Grishala. Outside of Dakota, the 46 of Cody Cooey, who, of course, is sponsored by Gerhard Trucking. In the next row back, it's the 45 car of Chevy Vincent. That's the Beecher Motorsport Special. And outside of him, it's the Rick Chevron, number 17 of Owen Craig. And rounding out the field is the 18 John Bender Racing entry of, guess who? Paisley Bender. So there you go. There is your field for 20 laps for our Interstate Battery Youth Hornet. Speedway Chevrolet providing us with our Chevrolet Camaro pace car, which is, we don't get much of a chance to see that thing during nights like this because they don't use it on the figure eight course. Well, if you saw what happened at the cup race, <laughs> yeah, the, the cup pace car was hit in the back by one Kyle Busch and has a big old dent in it. Fortunately, that doesn't happen here at Evergreen Speedway with that Speedway Chevrolet Camaro. That thing, man, you can see it coming a mile away. She's a beaut. Yeah, I think Lila Brown was, uh, I think that this may have been that driver's first, maybe second race. And to start that on the pole, she thought, no, I'm just probably going to let everyone know I'm going to kind of pull off and you can all go on your way. And I'll get some seat time and some experience. A break for Cody Cooey, though, in that number 46. That family is pretty legendary and have been out here at Evergreen Speedway in a lot of different divisions for decades. It was good to see Jason the other night when we were making one of our 12,000 trips up the grandstands. And uh, He was taking in the action and was. keeping track of the... Uh, the, the, the brood, as, as the saying goes, making sure that everything went well. And, you know, I'm going to guess that we'll see some of those cooies moving on up maybe into a, a mini stock, a street stock, or even a late model. Yeah, I have a feeling you are 100% correct. Diesel Snyder in that number 717 car. And the Tegan Bjornsson in the 59 brings up position three. Diesel Snyder. Man, that kid was named to be a race car driver. There is not <laughs> a doubt in my mind that his parents went... He's going to be a race car driver, and we're going to name him Diesel. So I, I got to great. I got to share a story with you. I just found out my grandson Isaac just got a black lab, and he named it Diesel Dave. <laughs> just the best. <laughs> so it's going to that dog's going to have a great life. And Diesel Snyder, uh, that young man just improves every time too, and doing what this division is is designed to do. That 20 car is also an interesting one to keep an eye on. That's a, a Rudell, Riley Rudell in that one. And he's really good at making his way through the field. Obviously, you can see that right there as he went into turn one. There's the Beecher Motorsports number 45 car. That car owned by Beecher Motorsports built basically passed along just to help bring racers along yes. who may not be able to either afford uh, have the technical abilities or whatever to build their own cars so that's a, a real shout out uh, to the beachers they're great people and it's really really nice to see chevy vincent another name yeah yep you're gonna yeah. be a race car driver too so you got chevy and we got diesel out there yeah chevy's dad sheridan uh runs with our nascar street stock division and always pits right next to nick beecher in his number 45 camaro uh who has had a whale of a season and so has uh you know the old man for lack of a better term in in his car made it up to the podium got a second place finish uh a couple of weeks ago, as you see Riddell going uh, kind of the short way around, but uh, gets her back underway and 
and good action in between turns one and two. And for our interstate battery, Youth Hornets, 10 lap, halfway through with 10 laps to go. You can imagine, as you mentioned, Eli LeBron out there for that first event. Man, you think, I remember back to my first race, I Ooh. thought I was flying. <laughs> and the cars went by on both sides. Yeah. And you go, yeah. okay, well, maybe I'm not quite flying as fast or as high as I thought I was. Yeah, it's it's a, an amazing, that first time you're ever out in, in a competition, um, I don't have a you know nearly the experience that I really wish I would have had. But, uh, you know, just kind of looking at it through these kids, and wondering what it must be like to, you know, you, you bring this up a lot. When they go to school, finally, now that they're going to be going back to school, what did you do over the weekend? Oh, I finished first at a main event at Evergreen Speedway. What did you do? And then some, maybe spent time with Grandma or something like that, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, kind of a neat a attraction to uh you can see right there they're they figuring out how to use that front yeah, bumper right there too you know as, yeah as paisley bender in that 18 car you know just moved how, chevy vincent out of the way right there how many times in the history of evergreen speedway do you think from any of the announcers that have been out here bender gets into beecher how many times? Well, I was just going to say, Paisley, <laughs> Paisley's got a good teacher on how to use that front bumper. Sorry, John, but we we know that's the that's the truth. Yes. But they are doing a great job, and you know, and it'll be so interesting to watch these kids grow as they you know mature and develop and their racing skills get bigger and better just how far they go up the line there's the 72 a great shot of the inside of the trunk of the 72 of kevin keegan krieger no luggage yeah and <laughs> absolutely not so back up front and it's winding down quick cody cooey diesel snyder paisley bender the 46 the 717 and the 18 respective respectfully and uh, they are headed down into turn number three on the run in the fifth mile flat track for our youth Hornets as we get this baby wound down. And part of the reason they run that flat track, the speeds are slower. It allows them to learn. If they do get in an incident, there's less chance that they could be injured or shook up. So you keep them down where the, the speeds are, are you know, restricted and and are, are comparable to their abilities. So right. just a couple of laps to go. Cody Cooey just doing there it right there. You can see the white flag as he heads off down into the south end of the speedway. Turn one, turn two. Cody has really taken a shine to this youth Hornet division. He's very well coached. A good bloodline with that Cooey last name as the rest of the field comes through. Out of turn number four, checkered flag is out. And uh, we unfortunately won't be bringing them up to the Angel of the Winds. Uh, winners platform our top three Cody Cooley, Diesel Snyder and Paisley Bender unfortunately we didn't get that recorded and these things happen oh well and uh, but you know what they made those TV. three those three will do a lot of interviews before their careers are over yeah now we're going to go to our uh, outlaw figure eight main event final race of the night but Obviously, in heat races, things can get pretty pretty amplified, and those guys get amped up. Here's an indication of what we're talking about. This is Ricky the Kid Dietz in the, uh, his number 676 Tire Pros of Arlington car. He's got all sorts of help with that. Look at that. Just lift that front end right across the number 48 of Van Buskirk. You guys don't think that these guys drive hard in heat races. Here's another shot of it right here. That's Just, a wheelie. That is a true wheelie, and Ricky don't get out of it either neither did neither did the 48 so uh that was pretty cool we thought you guys would get a kick if out ricky of that. doesn't lift at the intersection he's certainly not gonna lift <laughs> no. for just a little bumping between race cars all right here's your lineup 64 laps coming up for our outlaw figure eight division final race of the night on the uh front row is the number 676 tire pros of arlington entry of ricky Deeds outside of Ricky in the number 71 Northwest Adventure Rentals. The number 71 of Nick Holton. We go one back one more row to the inside second row. The Cowboy, the Fireplace Guy, Hearth and Home LLC entry of John Carlson outside of Carlson in the number 51 Miracles and Memories Academy. Ryan Clark in the 51. In the third row, the number 48 car, Jay Van Buskirk. That's the two and a half men barbecue sponsored car. Great barbecue, by the way. And a 
last minute addition to this field, the 98, James Conley jumped into that ride in the fourth row. It's a 74 car of Chris Curtis outside of Chris in the Tony V's Garage Pub and Eatery out of Everett. It is Dakota Wilkinson. In the number 13 is Bruce Beeler in the number 83 in the Brundage Bone Concrete Pumping Car. That is Zach Larson. And the final row in the zero, Jillian Lapido, sponsored by Hager Motorsports. And 33 of Nick Gunderson, sponsored by Gunderson Speed Shop. So there we go. We got that one down in time as they are just got the one more to go sign as the 71 of Holton caught a little bit out of shape there. But if you're going to do that, do it on the lap. Well, the I think you, they anticipated the green. They did not get it. They weren't lined up well. It's very possible they have a brake balance adjuster in there so they can move the brakes, you know, more brakes to the front or the rear. He may have had that thing a bit out of adjustment, jumps on the brakes. Good time to find it out there, not when you sail down into turn one with everybody else coming. But 64 laps, the outlaw figure eight cars. These cars are cool. They're bad. They're fast. They sound mean. And they really do the number. A ton of horsepower. It's a ridiculous. They, these probably horsepower-wise are the most powerful thing we put on the asphalt here at Evergreen Speedway. So it's going to be Nick Holton in the 71. Ricky the Kid Dietz, a longtime campaign of the Dietz family out here many many years and i don't think jonathan cared much for that attempt at a start either and uh, we'll get him lined back up try it one more time and if i'm not mistaken they're about ready to send somebody <laughs> back the officials look to make sure this happens you want a good you want a fair clean start but you don't want to waste all night fans didn't come here to watch cars go under the yellow so uh if they feel like they're jumping the start and not doing their job they'll go to the back and jonathan's telling somebody something there and ricky the just kid figured beats. out what it is there he goes he is going to be bopping down to the end that and that, i that was the universal sign for <laughs> take your car to the back row and yeah. you know what's in the back so you can imagine what he was pointing to so that'll put nick holton out in the front point and that will move up the number 50 of the Cowboy, John Carlson, Bruce, uh, excuse me, Jay Van Buskirk in that 48, the great looking number 51 car of Ryan Clark. That's another Boney Brothers entry. Pat Clark is his dad. And uh, Pat spent a lot of time behind the wheel of that number 74 car before Chris Curtis took it over. We are finally underway and Ooh. Jay Van Buskirk just slaps that U tire with his left rear tire and has a wave for somebody as they go around. So while they're getting that straightened around, good time to tell you about Tire Pros. They're proud to welcome, we are proud to welcome Tire Pros as a new sponsor here at Evergreen Speedway and the official Tyler tire dealer of Evergreen Speedway. Tire Pros is your one-stop tire retailer where honesty is the best policy and they have a hassle-free guarantee. Tire Pros has all the national brands and offers a nationwide warranty on your tires. Check them out at tirepros.com and, and they have put a lot into Evergreen Speedway. They have come on so yes, strong they and they're doing a lot of work with race cars, with the Speedway. They're here to stay. And if you want to be like Tire Pros, it's pretty easy to do. Just call the marketing department here at evergreen speedway monday through saturday you can probably get a hold of them and uh, they will put together a package uh, that just best suits how you guys want to do business all right here we go we're going to get them lit back up it is the 71 of nick holton the 50 of the cowboy john carlson we had mentioned ryan clark in the 51 and outside or inside of ryan is the 74 of chris curtis now we're going green well, you can see him head on down into the south end of the racetrack. A light, as we mentioned, lots and lots of horsepower. You can get those tires built back, get the pressures up, get a little temperature in them, get them so they're they're sticking and they'll start taking off. You watch those things rocket off as they come off the corners down in. And, you know, it's kind of cool to see the Cowboy up front. He has won every big race yes. that they've ever had here at Evergreen Speedway. And if you want to see... Big figure eight racing. I believe the date is October 3rd. That's the 60 Minutes of Fear uh, event that um, I had my hand in just a little bit in creating. Little bit. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty cool event. You're going to watch a figure eight race that goes on basically for 60 minutes. Um, stole the idea from a racetrack in Indiana where they did it for four hours. But I thought drivers would be falling. Their tongues would be falling yeah. out of their mouth after four hours. But uh, it's a it's a cool event. Love to see it. 
And like I say, it's on October 3rd. It's the final event of the year here at Evergreen Speedway for the Oval Track Racing. You can see that number 676 entry of Ricky Dietz making his way through the field as he gets around the 71 of Holton as uh, we switch back to up front as we are working lap number five. Cowboy John Carlson, like Tom had mentioned, every race that has any sort of major appeal to it, every big event John Carlson has won so uh, good to uh, good to see him back up there you can see him already a little bit of intersection activity going on you, you know in these cars when they go through the intersection I mean they're flying through that intersection and when you hit it's going to be you know a big time <laughs> crash but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know carlson's another one of those crafty veterans he just sits there and smiles never seems to get too excited the cool thing about this event too is it's a blind draw mm -hmm. so you're qualifying to determine where you start in the heat race but to come to the main event they reached in grabbed a poker chip out of the hat and that's what where they started and and uh, when big fields it can be important you can be one of the fast cars you start back in 20th the 30th it makes it a long night and here they are with uh, six excuse me seven laps into this you know i had mentioned about dawson cox and i guess you know we're so used to him stepping into one i just automatically thought it was him in that 13 but in reality the 13 with bruce beeler behind the wheel why because he owns that thing he can drive it whenever he wants well, and it's cool that they got an opportunity to get get some laps after running it in the Superstock portion. But right now, <laughs> there's chaos at the intersection. Yeah. Bruce is thinking right there, man, I yeah. wonder if I should have uh, <laughs> thought of something. Dawson, out. Dawson, my yeah. seatbelt's Where are around. you? Oh, here's two cars. Both of them lifted right there. No, you go, I'll go. No, right. I mean, man, there has been some crazy there intersection has. action. Let's give a shout out to Dakota Wilkinson in that number 25 car. That thing is just a sharp looking race car. The Wilkinson family, uh, you know, Doug and, and all them people just do such a great job putting these in. They are racing it all over the state. Uh, on this particular <laughs> night, there were some Wilkinsons here at Evergreen Speedway, and then there was some racing at another track somewhere else. And, and uh, just that commitment that they put to motorsports is just very impressive. All right, there's the Cowboy working the outside of the 13 of Beeler as he puts that a lap down. John just picking him, really doing a nice job getting his way through the field. Yeah, I want to shout out to uh, Jillian Lepedo, ran the Superstock Division yes. last year. Every time she got an opportunity to run a figure eight race, she was out there. This year they built that outlaw car. It is a beautiful piece as we watch Dakota Wilkinson after you said such nice things <laughs> get turned around because that's the steve mortland that's the curse. Hex. that's right that's the curse so send the uh, correspondence to steve mortland yep care of evergreen speedway i'll be happy to give you a personal phone call and apologize to you but uh, it is still uh, still fun because it you know like we talked about and jillian lapato that's one too that every time that she's in that thing the the knowledge just gets a little bit better and she had a fun season for a couple of seasons in the super stock figure eight class and, and got a nice car, gets a lot of help with it too. Uh, they're always ready to help give a hand on that car if, if they need it from other teams as they all do. John Carlson especially would be uh, more than happy to go over there and help that team out as he has done his entire racing career. So. Good job by the Cowboy as he's still leading this thing. Chris Curtis kind of sneaky snaking his way into the second spot, just picking cars off one at a time like he does so well moving up into that second spot. Ryan Clark in the number 51 car, the other team car from the Boney Brothers entry. We've been in figure eight racing for uh, many, many years as well uh, in, that in the third spot. And then back to uh, Rick Dietz making his way up into fourth with a good run. Zach Larson hanging in there tough in position number six. Nick Anderson in six. Mike Holden in the seventh spot and uh, received a, the zero car of uh, Lepedo getting out of shape. He does a nice job getting it back together. You know, Ricky Dietz, um, I thought maybe maybe just a little off after that heat race incident where he got that car up in the air because he, while a good run, just not up to Ricky Dietz standards. Yes. You, yeah. you know, I mean, that guy drives the wheels off it. But uh, obviously, when your last name is Dietz, you're born to be a figure eight racer. And Ricky is one of those kind of guys that doesn't lift at the intersection because daddy <laughs> never, <laughs> <Nope>. ever. <laughs> 
ever no, lifted. It's pretty impressive. We are about 20 laps into the 64 that make up the final event here and this uh, edition of Home Track Heroes here on CW11. It is the Outlaw Figure 8 main event from Evergreen Speedway. John Carlson, Chris Curtis, Ryan Clark, and we'll be back with more racing from Evergreen Speedway here on CW11.